See, I got a joke for you. All right, knock, knock. Who's there? Quick physio tip! <laughs> Synthy quick physio tips round two with this guy. Hey guys, my name is Eric Wood Solomon. I'm a physiotherapist, the owner of Physio Fitness Cambridge and CrossFit Rebuild, and we're bringing you quick physio tips. All right, so Eric, I have a quick question for you. A lot of my fighters, uh, before they start training, I always say, hey, go roll. Roll for at least five minutes before you start training. Uh, they always start rolling out their lower body, but I very seldom see them do anything with their upper body. What are some things they could be doing for their upper body to, to get them going? All right, Sid, I'm glad you asked. So let me show you. So we showed you my favorite thing to do with the foam roll, yes. which was the static stretch with your arms over your head. Mm -hmm. We're going to take that sort of one step forward, get a little more advanced today. And again, this is a great one to do as part of a warm up. It's much more dynamic. So you're moving your body, you're going to be contracting some muscles. So Sid, let me have you. Okay, what we're going to do basically is we're going to work on your, uh, your upper back. So your thoracic spine. So your thoracic spine is the one that basically attaches along your rib cage. So essentially from the, mm -hmm. the bottom of the ribs uh, to the top of the shoulder blades. This is the area we're gonna be working on. This is one that tends to get stiff and tight, especially when people are in that tipped forward posture. Uh, like, check check like, that. Like, like this, eh? <laughs> like boxers, <laughs> okay. maybe? Or like people who are addicted to Facebook or social media. <laughs> yeah. like, okay. I don't know anybody like that, no. no me neither. All right, so uh, let me have you go ahead and put the foam roll on the ground. And I'll sort of coach you through. So you're gonna lay down uh, on your back on the foam roll. You got it. So we're gonna wrap uh, wrap our arms over our chest. So one arm. Yep. And this this guy goes underneath. Okay. Yep. Right. So I want you to walk your fingertips kind of behind the shoulder blades. Get that as tight as you can. Okay. Nice. We're gonna tighten up the abs. Mm -hmm. You got it. Let the hips come off the ground, and you're gonna roll down. So the foam roll goes all the way basically to the top of the shoulder blades. Gotcha. Go 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 go. Nice. And then back up. You got to keep going, keep going right to there. So you don't want to roll this into your lumbar spine. Okay. What we don't want is the foam roll to push into the curve in the low back. So we're right. starting higher up. Okay. okay. And again, while you're doing this, I'm going to have Sid basically brace his abdominals. And what that does, when he braces his abs, that locks his rib cage into place and forces the extension to come from his thoracic spine. And that's where we want it to come from. So okay. say, okay, Sid's done this now 10 times. Yeah. Uh, part two. You're gonna reach both arms up over your head. So this is important with the position here. Turn your palms so they're facing each other. Okay, so you're okay. You got it. Lock out the elbows all the way. And then biceps, you're gonna get as close to the ears as you can. So for Sid, this is getting a little stiff. Yeah, that's okay. So he's gonna tighten up his belly. So you feel him kind of pin that rib cage down. Yep. And again, let me have you roll. Uh, roll down, let the foam will come all the way up. Nice. And then down. Two. So when you're doing this, you may get some pops and cracks. Yeah. Little adjustments there. That's okay. Those are for free. Uh, <laughs> again, you see, you notice Sid start to like have his arms kind of drift up. Bring them back. Yeah, that's the position. Nice. Ah, again, okay, gotcha. belly's tight while you're hitting it. Abs are on. On, 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 on. Yep. And again, 10 times. So this, this should take you maybe 20, 30 seconds. It's going to get your upper back and shoulders a uh, really quick warm up. And again, remember, you should not be causing any tingling or numbness in the arms. Right. If your neck gets tired from holding your head up, just take a quick rest and sit up. Here's a 